Hello, it is time for the owls. And I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. All right, hi guys, it's time for the owls readathon. My name is Danny or Bookish Danny and I haven't uploaded my TBR yet. <laughs> also, I'm wearing like a really snug little thing and I f figured I could probably pull this off and now I'm seeing myself in this camera and I'm like, ah, I probably can't. So I'll be right back. Let's do this. All right, hello, I am back. Um, I now look decent and I am dressed for the place I want to be, not the place I am. So, life update, I am living in the UK, which I wasn't doing in my last video, so that's a pretty big thing. I live with other people, so um, they can probably all hear me. It happens when you live with other people, that's great. I have no good place to prop my camera up on, so you can see my double chin. I should care, but I don't. I am going to update you on all the things that I'm doing for the... Owl readathon. It's just gonna be my TBR. It's already April 1st. I need to upload this video, I need to film it, upload it, you know, do a whole shebang. So that's what I'm doing right now. I really don't wanna spend like hours editing this. So I'm just gonna talk and hope that you guys like it and I'm not going to bother too much with doing multiple, multiple takes because this is my return to booktube and honestly, I don't really care. Also, I'm opening that at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. See if I spray myself. So, for anyone who doesn't know what the Magical Readathon is, it is basically a readathon that focuses around the owls and the mutes exams from Harry Potter. It was organised by Book Roast, and this is the third year that's happening, I think third or fourth year. Um, and it's owls, and I'm super excited. I didn't participate in the last few ones. One, because I wasn't really doing this yet, and two, because I really just want to get back into YouTube and want to read a bit more, so this was my opportunity. I think most people know about it by now so I'm not going to go into all the details but I will talk to you about what my job is that I'm working towards and what the prompts are for the books that I want to read. Can you tell I haven't been on a haven't been vlogging or doing this for a while I'm now super uncomfortable yeah okay good. I am doing hold your horses the mind medic career I know we're shocked. I'll, I'll read it to you. A wizard needs to keep a well-organised mind. However, sometimes such hectic lifestyles and unpredictable events prove it a difficult task. A mind medic is a person charged with helping those who no longer feel balanced. A mind medic trains for years in psychology theory, therapy and practice, alongside some of the most intricate challenging spells and counter spells that can help a person whose mind troubles them. Some are actually caused by backfired experimental jinx or a generational curse, which, while others occur entirely naturally. The mind medic is a professional trained in the art of recognising the type of mind block and providing a variety of solutions and healing plans. This is considered a very dangerous and important profession and carries a lot of responsibility. You are meddling with the mind, after all. A mind wizard or witch puts their own mind at risk as many, uh, many a curse, uh, curse are designed to attack the wizard attempting to break it. As a consequence, St Mungo's Hospital Ward 49 is heavily inhabited by ex-mind medics. As such, professionals are highly sought out, well paid and also held to a very high academic standard. So, you know, a bit dangerous, a bit, you know, psychology. We love it. So key traits of this person thing is a strong mind, someone who's committed uh, and someone who's unyielding. Now... We all know that I'm not very well committed. I tried to do a 24 hour readathon the other day, it did not work, so uh, we'll see how this goes. So the owls that I need to get are the owls for Ancient Runes, Arithmancy, Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, Muggle Studies, Potions and Transfiguration. That's a lot of books. I don't usually even read like three books in a, in a month, so this is gonna be a challenge, but I am on furlough from next week, so I'll have all the time in the world. Yay, Corona. Um, so for Ancient Runes, the revision topic, or basically the prompt, is you have to do something with the heart rune. So it has to have a heart on the cover or in the title. So for that one, I have three options, um, which are A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer, uh, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and Heart Stopper, volume one, two, or three, by Alice Oseman. I've already read all three, so I'm going to aim to do one of the other two. Then for arithmancy, it is qualities of number two, balance and opposites, which basically means you have to read something outside your favourite genre. My favourite genre is contemporary, so anything but that. So I've got loads for these. I've probably left out a few, but um, I'm just going to read these out to you. All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. 
Artemis awesome Fowl by Owen Colfer, Celtic Tales, which is by various authors, then Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, Cryer's War by Nina Varela, English Fairy Tales and Le Legends by Rosalind Curvin, Frankenstein, once again, by Mary Shelley, I Hope You Get This Message by Farah Nasrishi, Mythos by Stephen Fry, Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Siege and Storm and Six, uh, and Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Then The Blood Print by Orzma Zahanat Khan. Uh, Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. Owl, which I got from my dad on a Sylvan Red, so that's high on the list. The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. The Guinevere Deception, Kirsten White, which I'm reading at the moment, so I might choose that for this one. The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. The Light Tree, which is by Francis Hardinge. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Uh, or Winterwood by Shay, Shay, Shay Earnshaw. Shay, is that the way we say that? Then for charms, I have to read a book with a white cover or a mostly white cover. So for that one, I have quite a few options as well. I've got A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Ask Miss Fowl by Owen Colfer. Sonnets by William Shakespeare, which is really thin. So that might be a good option. The Blood Print by Orzma Zahana Khan. The Clan of the Cave Bear by G.M. G. M. Owl. And The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I also have What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. And Winterwood by Shay Arnshaw. Then for Defence Against the Dark Arts, we're focusing on Grindylows. And Grindylows are beasts that live on, or creatures that are underwater. So it has to focus on a book set on at the sea or at the coast. For that one, I've only got two options. So yay. One is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace or The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. I, I'm kind of in the mood for The Lady's Guide, so I might do that. Then Herbology, that focuses on the Mimbulus Mimbletonia, which is the little plant that um, Neville brings to school. And it has to be a book that starts with the letter M. So I have a few options there. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare, Mythos by Stephen Fry, or The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. Muggle Studies. So that's a book from the perspective of a muggle, so it has to be contemporary. For that I've got A Little Life by Hania Yanagihara. I don't think that's going to happen because it's got way too many pages, but you know, it's on the list. Uh, Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Dear Evan Hansen by Val Emick. Down and Across by Arvin Amadi. Ninth House by Lee Wadugo. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I've already read it, but I feel like maybe I want to reread a book for this challenge. Uh, the Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin Alice Sounds and Turtles All the Way Down by John Green and I have one more book for that what one which is Wonder by RJ Palacio so maybe one of those you never know with me what I'm gonna pick <laughs> then for potions um, it's focusing on a shrinking solution so it has to be a short book under 150 pages I don't actually have that many which means that there's a um, three out of four chance that I'll be reading Shakespeare A Midsummer Night's Dream the Merchants of Venice or The Tempest by Shakespeare, or English Fairy Tales and Legends by Rosalind Kerbin. Then for Transfiguration, I just realised that I didn't explain what the prompt is for Transfiguration, and that is a book where someone shapeshifts. That's the prompt. Anyway, here it is. I've got four options A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer, Winterling by Sarah Fit uh, Prinius, Fire and Heist by Sarah Beth Durst, or Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. All of those, good options, I have not yet decided. So, who knows what's happening? So I'll be vlogging for this next month. I'll be vlogging, doing weekly vlogs, kind of just like me reading and telling you what my decisions have been, you know, which books have I been reading? Am I going to be reading this book or that book? And at the moment, I'm going to start with The Guinevere Deception because that's the one I'm about 40 pages in and I'm liking it so far. It's not like fantastic, but it, it's it's good. It's it's all right so far. So that's what I'm going to do. That's it. I uh, hope you're excited. If you're going to do it, please leave a comment down below and let me know what books you're planning on reading and what career you're planning on going for. So here's the outro that I'm really bad at. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, leave a comment down below, answer that question I just asked you, or follow me 
or and, preferably and. I've got Twitter, I've got Reddit, I have a Facebook page that I barely use, uh, Instagram that I rarely use. I'm most active on Twitter, just follow me on Twitter, that's all good. Of course, now comes the time that we've all been waiting for, for me to open this bottle. I am very bad at this. Um, my friends can vouch against me to say that I am in fact very bad at this. I've never opened one successfully without absolutely wrecking myself and other things in my path. I'm really, really scared. Not even coming out. Oh, there we go. It's coming. I'm, I'm scared. So yay, this is for my return back to BookTube. Um, it's it's coming and I'm, I'm scared. But um, yay, I'm back on BookTube. Yay, I'm celebrating this with an alcoholic drink. And um, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you're all coming back to see my videos soon. I did it! How proud are you? Alright, bye!